I'm sure this is something that we all have laying around. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I also want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm sure we all use wrapping paper to wrap our gifts with, however, there are lots of other fun things you can do with it too. Maybe you even have some laying around the house, but if not, currently Dollar Tree has tons of really great options out already, so definitely snag up the good stuff before it's gone and use them for the things I'm going to show you in today's video. All right, so first up, we're going to turn this wood plank from Dollar Tree into a Christmas wood sign. I have some brown paint that I'm going to paint this sign with and make it look more like stained wood. And then I found this great black and red buffalo print wrapping paper at Dollar Tree. I'm sitting my sign down on this first and cutting a piece that is larger than the actual sign and then coming in with my pencil to draw out the actual size of this and then we're going to cut that out even smaller because we want to leave an edge around our wood plank so we have a nice border. So here's the finished piece. You can see I have about a quarter of an inch size border all the way around. And now we're simply just going to Mod Podge this wrapping paper right onto the top of this sign. So what I like to do is put a generous coat onto the wood first, making sure to smooth it out. You kind of want a lot, but not too much of this. If it starts drying out, go back over it, add a little bit more, and then lay your piece down into that glue. You kind of start in the middle and then push out that way you kind of get rid of some of the air bubbles and the wrinkles run your finger around the edges add a little bit more glue where you need to and then you'll go back over that with some more paint now you can also take your Cricut squeegee and use that to help get out some of those wrinkles and bubbles before adding your final coat to the top for mine, I let it sit overnight to make sure it was completely dry and cured before moving on to the next step. We are going to make this a little bit more of a rustic sign. So I have a sanding block that is also from Dollar Tree and I'm just rubbing that along the edge of that wrapping paper. You can see it starting to rough up. I also took it around the edges of the wood too to give it more of a rustic look and feel. Now we want to make a really cute vinyl decal for the front of this. It's going to make it look so nice and finished and also take it to the next level. So I'm going to feature the Cricut Explore 3 machine for this. And I'm going to be using some smart vinyl, which is really neat. You can actually feed this straight into the machine. You don't even need a cutting mat. So I found a cool pre-made design that says Farmhouse Christmas within Cricut Design Space. Sized that down in my program and then sent it over to my Cricut machine to cut out. The cool thing is, is I also have this docking station that has a built-in cutter on it that makes this project go even more quickly. Now I'm just taking my weeding tool and weeding out all the excess pieces of vinyl that I do not want as part of my design and then adding a piece of transfer tape on the top of that, removing the vinyl decal from that paper backing before applying it onto my wood sign. I get so excited to create all of these Christmas crafts because it is my favorite holiday. But I would love to know down in the comments below, what is your favorite holiday? Now you'll see this decal pop just instantly as soon as I put this over that pretty buffalo print in the back. I'm running my squeegee over that before removing my transfer tape to reveal my finished, inexpensive, quick and easy, handmade and custom wood sign. Did you know that you can actually cut wrapping paper with your Cricut machine too? All you need is one of these light grip cutting mats, this blue one here. And there's also a custom setting that you'll select in design space before you send your design over to be cut. So what I'm doing is just cutting a piece of wrapping paper down to size so it will fit within that mat, applying the wrapping paper to the mat before inserting it into my Cricut machine. 
Then I went into my Cricut Design Space and found several different really cute pre-made tag shapes. I selected a few and hit the green button to insert those into my canvas and then turned them all the same color so they would all cut at the same time and selected that I wanted it to be cut on a mat before sending this over to the machine to do all the work. I love that these tags come out perfect every time and it even cuts little holes in them so that saves me a step too. Once it was done cutting, I just very gently removed that paper, extra paper off of the cutting mat and then used my weeding tool to kind of get a corner up off of those tags before removing them from the mat. Now at this point, you can add someone's name to them, a message to them, to and from on them, and then add a little bit of ribbon to add them to your gifts or gift sets. I love this so much because it is so quick and easy, but it's also so affordable. You could make hundreds of these with one roll of wrapping paper. How about using wrapping paper to not only wrap your gifts under your tree, but also make some of your home decor so it all matches and coordinates. I think that would be so neat. And this is a really simple way to do it. This is a dollar frame from Dollar Tree that I am just removing the inside piece. The glass was still attached, so I taped that off and then used some white chalk paint to paint the frame out. It did take me about three coats of this, so if you can spray paint, that may go a little bit quicker, but it still turns out if you aren't able to do that. Once it's dry, you can remove that painter's tape, and we're going to cut down some of that wrapping paper to insert into the back to make a pretty background to this frame. I really love the contrast of the dark print with the white frame, and we're gonna coordinate that with the vinyl too. I found this pretty design in Design Space. It says, Merry Christmas. I scaled it down to size, weeded it out, and then applied it to the center of my frame. And you can see how nicely that white vinyl complements the white frame. This would be a great way to reuse a frame maybe you already have or one that you find at the thrift store, turning something that may not work for you into something that matches perfectly with your Christmas decor. Now let's make a banner. So of course you can cut your cardstock with your Cricut machine. You don't have to have this little guy that I'm gonna show you here in just a second. But my mom gave me this for my birthday and I love it so much. I have so much fun that I try to use it as often as I can. And basically you just put a piece of paper along that straight line and then you close down that plastic piece. So you can see a triangle starting to form. It has a blade that runs down a channel on the side and you just run it from top to bottom down to that point and it will cut out a triangle for you. The cool thing is, is we're also going to layer this with some wrapping paper. So what you do is you just cut out a straight piece there. So that way you can also line that up with the lines, but you're gonna make it a little bit smaller. So move it down a couple lines before closing that lid down and then taking your blade and cutting that next size out. And you'll see how perfectly this creates a really cute layered effect. Now I'm gonna take this adhesive tape runner to attach these two layers together. This banner maker also has a punch feature at the top so you can punch holes into your banners all in one. I decided I wanted my banner to say Mary, so I cut out five of these triangles total and put them all together. 
Now we're going to head into design space and use the text feature. I typed out Mary and then scaled that down to size to make sure the letters would fit within my banner. I'm going to be adding a piece of white cardstock onto my green cutting mat, inserting that into my machine and letting it do all of the work. Then we're gonna remove that cardstock from our cutting mat. I also wanna show you a nice tool that helps with removing cardstock off of your cutting mat. It's this little spatula thing that comes with a starter kit and you just kinda of pry a corner up and the rest will peel off for you. Then we're gonna use the tape runner again to apply these letters to each one of the triangles. To put this banner together, we're gonna run some ribbon from the front through the back of this first one and bringing it from the back through the front of the next side. And another tip is to go backwards. You don't wanna start with M and keep going because then your banner will be backwards. So make sure to start with the very last letter and work your way to the front. Next is a very unique way of using wrapping paper. I'm starting with a clear ornament from Dollar Tree and also this candy cane striped wrapping paper. I'm gonna cut it down so I can fit it within my uh, paper trimmer and kind of using it as a guide so that my paper isn't too big to fit in there. And then I'm gonna use that paper trimmer to cut small strips down to about a half an inch wide. So I did lots of those. And then you're going to need a regular pair of scissors. We're going to curl this paper up. You just very gently run your scissors along the back side of your paper and it curls right up. It's also a good tip to just cut down your curly cues into two or three pieces before you insert them into your ornament. That's gonna create more bulkiness and more curly cues, so you need less to fill up your ornament. I also thought it'd be really cute to add a decal onto the front of this, so using my vinyl again, I cut out a reindeer, but I really think this would be so cute if you add a personalization to it, like a monogram or a name or even a date. Now we're going to dress up a Christmas card with some wrapping paper. This design was in design space. I loved it because it also comes with an envelope. So what I'm doing is just putting cardstock through my Explore 3 and cutting out the card first. You can see it just pops right out of there and honestly, it just pretty much weeds itself out too when you pull the card off first. And you can see we're left with some holes. That is where we're going to add our wrapping paper to dress this up. But I thought I would also kind of coordinate and do a red and green theme. So used green cardstock for this cute miniature little envelope. And you'll see here in just a little bit how we turn that into an envelope. This guy here is an embossing tool that comes with your basic starter toolkit, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. You can use it in your machine too, but this is a little bit of a trick I'm gonna use with this project. I've inserted my card into my paper trimmer and I'm running that embossing tool down that channel. It's going to score our card right in the perfect place so that we can easily fold our card over. I'm doing the exact same thing with our envelope. Now we're going to embellish our card with our wrapping paper so you can see it through those peekaboo spots just using my adhesive tape runner to apply it. I also use that tape runner to close up my envelope using those scored lines as a guide of where to fold. 
I hope you enjoyed all of this holiday inspiration. Please hit that thumbs up button for me. I also have links in the description box to all the tools and supplies I use throughout this video. I would love to have you become part of the DIY family, so please subscribe. I also have more holiday inspiration coming very, very soon. I'll have more ideas popping up on your screen. You can check out next, and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.